Recent job postings on 343's website showcases that they're doubling down on the live service of Halo Infinite and how it looks like we'll be getting its seasonal story content. Want to know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again giving our Halo news and informational video. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So occasionally you can actually get some pretty good bits of Halo news and information from just checking out the job postings that are on 343's website. And right now, this is probably the most available jobs I've seen for 343 on their website in a very long time. And some of these job postings had some very interesting details attached to them, so I wanted to cover them in this video. So let's dive right into it. So the first post we're gonna take a look at here is a Halo Live Ops position here. So this is one of those situations I was talking about where it sounds like 343 is doubling down on the live service of Halo Infinite. Now they currently are no longer accepting applications for this job. This actually was posted back in October, but it helps can provide a little bit more insight of like, yes, they really want to make sure that Halo Infinite can succeed as a live service game. If you kind of zoom in here, you can kind of see the one of the main topics I want to talk about here saying our goal is to make Halo Infinite a successful live game that continually evolves and delights players with releases of new exciting features, maps, modes, and content. Which is exactly what we're kind of expecting for Halo Infinite. It's just been quite a long time since we've seen any form of, uh, you know, these new maps, modes, and content features, but they're coming along. It's coming around slowly, but it's actually happening behind the scenes. I'm assuming since it's been so long that we haven't really heard much of, probably 343 is doing a lot of readjustments when it comes to their plan of attack or how to provide more content and updates for Halo Infinite. Uh, they also say right here, so to help define, execute, and evolve the live ops strategy for Halo Infinite to effectively operate as a live game. So again, like I said, they're doubling down on the live service, making sure that they can actually provide that service right now, because it seems like right now, not so much. Next, we have a senior software development engineer position, which sounds pretty generic, but has a really interesting bit of dialogue right here saying, as a member of this team, you'll be working directly with gameplay designers on the Halo Infinite campaign, building and maintaining the systems that operate missions and encounters and which help glue the world together. Now, the most interesting phrase in this is all the glue the world together kind of phrase, which is like, makes me wonder like how they're going to be doing the campaign dlc because previously in halo all we've ever done for campaign dlc or any kind of campaign is having a completely new experience we've never had an expansion to a halo campaign which i feel like that's probably what's going to be happening with halo infinite that this open world that we have right now is going to be getting new additions so could it be ways to glue the new sections into the world that would be quite interesting. I mean, it all depends on how 343 goes about doing their campaign DLC. As we do know that there are going to be multiple campaigns when it comes to Halo Infinite. I mean, if you just look on Halo Waypoint right here, if you scroll down to the Halo Infinite page, it literally says campaigns with an S on it, meaning there's going to be multiple campaigns. So yeah, we must all figure that we would get campaign DLC. It's just kind of more of a matter of time and when. Uh, and what kind of campaigns we will be receiving within Halo Infinite. Is it gonna become more like incremental kind of things or like big content drops like every like two years, maybe even three years or something like that? Well, this next job posting provides a little bit more information on that and it's quite interesting. Now this is when things get really interesting with the writing director position at Halo Infinite right here. If you scroll down, there's some responsibilities here of collaborate with Halo Infinite's head of creative, Joseph Staten, as well as other leads to create highly innovative and engaging serial narrative content for Halo Infinite's free to play, which is kind of an odd way to say, but basically what's the free to play section of Halo? The multiplayer. So like serial narrative for Halo Infinite's free to play. And they're a really cool part that they mentioned in Harrison, work closely with the Halo franchise team to ensure seasonal story content, both leverages existing Halo lore and adds exciting new chapters to the larger Halo story, which is like, okay, first you had my attention. Now you have my curiosity about what's going to be happening when it comes to serial story narratives and also the narratives for the free to play of Halo Infinite. This was something I was actually truly expecting when it came to at least the season one content when it comes to Halo Infinite that like 
basically I have a feeling that the way it will work with like the storytelling that you have your campaign major drops right that will kind of be like your main sections that you'll play but then these new seasons of throughout multiplayer will kind of drop like a little continuous kind of like connective elements to the next story drop that was going to happen for Halo Infinite now it's kind of hoping for that when it comes to season one especially talking about like you know heroes of reach going back to reach and kind of stuff like that i mean joseph Staten even linked like the wicked the halopedia page for the planet reach saying like you're gonna want to know more about this planet but then once season one dropped that was completely unnecessary and all we got was like this one cinematic for season one which kind of introduced more agreement which kind of led us more into like the academy of halo infinite rather than leading us to any kind of more story elements or anything like that just kind of hoping for more incremental things happening throughout the entirety of a season, or at least like one big drop. Now something like this, like from Apex Legends, this is the season 12 cinematic. This kind of helps provide a little more story and a little more context of what's happening within the world. I mean, Apex Legends is just strictly like a multiplayer game and has like these kind of tied in story elements just to kind of get a little more invested to the characters and the gameplay itself. And this is something I was totally expecting to see happen with like these nice, really well done, like thought out, you know, cinematic elements when it comes to the multiplayer seasons. But we really didn't get that. We just kind of got that one Agrina trader. And I think what this could do is really add to the storytelling of Halo Infinite, kind of like what they wanted to do with like Spartan Ops back in Halo 4. But now you can do that with the multiplayer in Halo Infinite. Or kind of like what we had right here for Call of Duty as well. When it comes to the new Warzone seasons, there's always a new cinematic that kind of gives you a little more context. And kind of progressing the overarching, kind of like loosely written kind of story to kind of give you a little bit more context and give you a little more investment into the gameplay itself, which I think is something that's so cool that Halo could absolutely blow any of these games out of the water because they have so much better just richer lore better story characters and just overall just a really better kind of narrative when it comes to the storytelling of halo infinite and that's something that i really hope that 343 tries to land more on maybe that's why they're getting this writer position available for the game to where they can actually have these really cool cinematics that kind of tie in the universe of the multiplayer which is canon right like your spartan is canon to the universe of halo now so it would make sense to try to tie in like your multiplayer spartans into like the story with like master chief and lasky and all the other kind of characters out there with like the weapon and also you know fighting against the banished and things like that like so this is really interesting stuff to see what could happen when it comes to halo my hopes are high that we'll at least get something pretty cool uh, i mean I, we're still waiting on quite a bit of information when it comes to what's gonna be happening with halo especially throughout the year especially waiting on that roadmap as soon as we do get that roadmap guys i'm actually to share it with you guys here on the channel and also a really cool thing is that the halo tv show is happening this month which i'm super excited about i will be doing tons of review videos on that show as well breaking down anything interesting or just talking about the show in general does it actually capture the halo feel well you guys will know here on this channel but if you guys are new to the channel and missed any content from me recently check out this playlist right here got a link to all my halo infinite news and informational videos right there thank you so much for watching greatly appreciate it i'll catch you on the next one peace out